Right, hi. Yeah, today we're going to add some more games to my PlayStation Mini. Now, um, how do we do this? First off, you need to get something called Bleems Inc. The link will be in the description. Um, when you get it, you'll get <coughs> three folders, four folders even. Um, you'll get Games, Bleems Inc, this folder here, and LOL Hack. Now, you need to leave the hack alone and this folder here alone because that's the um, activating one and that's the actual hack uh, Bleem Sync you will need to um, run last and games you will need to add your games when you open your games folder you'll have two files and these are just like dummy files just to show you how to do it open one you have game data and in here you'll have how it should be set up if you bin and Q files now you should name them like this with the little um, dash between the names but apparently you can name them anything so I don't know I've not tried that yet we might try it in a minute too uh, you won't need these so you can delete these but just keep your game INI and your PC SX config next you're going to need the games now I've done this earlier so we don't have to mess around in the games here I've put um, I think this is Crash Bandicoot I've renamed it to its actual uh, file name and I've got a picture of PNG of the actual game yeah there you go Crash now um you might be wondering where to get this from. I found a nice little site for you all. Let's have a look. It's called CD Romance. It will give you the name of the game and it will give you the actual code as well but it's actually for the American NTSC version so you'd have to get that game. Uh, if it's English you have to look around, I'm not too sure. Or if you're burning your own games, like in the next part of the video, you can actually take it off of the box cover. I'll show you where that is. And I think I've done something slightly wrong on there, I forgot that little dash. But as I say, you can name it anything you want, so it shouldn't matter too much. Uh, the next game I put in here is Parasite Eve. So, okay, so on the next the game, I've got it back in games on number two. I've got a game data. And this is a two disc game. So I've got the data which is 62 and 68 on each disc. You can see what this is Parasite Eve. Again, I've gone to this site, looked through it and found Parasite Eve. There we go. Now it says what this is part disc one and then 68 would be disc two so I put them in here along with the PNG as I showed you ah one thing I forgot to mention on that Parasite Eve disc you would need to name it for two discs so you need your first name on the first part of the discs separate by a comma and then the second name on there. So if there's disc one, that's disc two, and if you had disc three, you just comma and the next name for disc, but we don't need to do that this time. Up there. Up there. <laughs> Up again. Right, so once you've done that, you won't have this system folder first off. Go to Bleem Zinc. If you do type the Bleem Zinc will come up at the top. You run that about a second later it will give you this systems folder and in there will be databases with a regional database now what you need to do then is put all of this onto your USB stick mine's J let's have a look at J if I can find it now J needs to be, or your USB stick needs to be named Sony and formatted in FAT32. So say you put all of those game folders from there onto your stick. 
So Bleem Sync Game Systems, Bleem Sync Game Systems. The only one you don't need is the Bleem Sync folder itself. But that may change soon because there's another version out and a tool as well. That will be in the next part of this video. Once you're there, um, it's time to test. So let's have a quick test on my mate's PlayStation Mini and see if they work. Okay, so here we have the USB drive in the little PlayStation Mini. Um, we've unplugged it from the back, plugged in the USB, plugged it back in, lights come on orange. Let's see if it works. It should start flashing. Yep. Come up with that, and there we go. Now I've got my two games that I've got on there Crash Bandicoot. And, well, phone still. Parasite Eve. There we go. Let's press start. There we go. And it should be working. Yep. Now Crash is working. So good stuff, the actual hack works and that automated bit didn't really work, so um, good news. I'll see you again on the next video. Bye for now.